Now, as I've told you, there is two type of bond formation, ionic and covalent. So, in ionic, it is formed between metal and non-metal. One lose electron, another gain electron, right? Now, we'll be doing for covalent bonding. So, so in covalent, mutual sharing of electron take place. Mutual sharing of electrons take place. And how it, now you can judge that these atom will contain the covalent bond? Uh, just write like if I say HCl. So if I say you, if I tell you to make bond between hydrogen and chlorine, write hydrogen, write chlorine, write the atomic number, write their configuration. Now you will see it also need an electron to complete its octet, and it also need an electron to complete its octet, and. One means it is non-metal again, it is non-metal. So whenever the bond is formed between non-metal and non-metal, it is always covalent. Metal and non-metal, ionic. Non-metal and non-metal, always covalent. Now how it is formed? I am taking an example for you. Suppose we take a bond formation between hydrogen and chlorine. Same, we will be doing, I am doing here only, just look at the board, this side. So hydrogen has one electron and chlorine has seven electrons. So what they will do, they will mutually share electrons, means chlorine will share this hydrogen electron and hydrogen also needs a one electron, it will also share its one electron. So after doing it, it will uh, complete its duplet and it will complete its octet. So that means one electron and one electron is being shared, so there is one electron pair. So it is called as single covalent bond. So this is how the bond is formed. Similarly, we are taking up an example of uh, say the double covalent bond in which two, two electrons are contributed. For example, I take oxygen molecule. If I tell you to make a bond formation between oxygen molecule, what you will do, you will see O2, OK, O and O. Then write their atomic numbers, write their configuration, non-metal, again non-metal, that means covalent bond. So we have to start with both of them simultaneously right O, right O. So how many electrons they need? You have to put th those much electrons in the middle because then only we will make it, we'll be able to make an electron cloud. So 6 and it also needs uh, 2 electrons. So we are putting 2, 4 and 6. These are the already electrons it already has. And similarly for this, I am indicating with the crosses just to make it clear so that you should know that these electrons dotted one belongs to this atom and this, this cross one belongs to this atom. Now, they will mutually share like this and it will also mutually share like this. So that means there is two electron which is being shared. So this is called as double covalent bond. Similarly, we can make a bond for nitrogen to show a triple covalent bonding. It happens in many molecules but for your sake, I am taking a simple molecule so that you should know first how to make bond formation between the similar ones so that you can easily make the bond between the dissimilar ones. It is the same way it happens, okay. So nitrogen N, N, 7, 7 atomic number, configuration 2, 5, 2, 5, it needs the 3 electrons, so we will put 3 in middle and 2, these are the already electrons which it already has like this. So this nitrogen will share these 3 electrons and this will share these 3. So there are 3 electron pairs, so bond form is triple covalent bond. So this is how the bond formation, the covalent bond formation can be shown by just drawing the electron clouds. You need to draw this electron clouds. If you are not drawing it, then it is totally wrong way of representing. Just drawing a line is not correct. Whenever you are showing the bond formation, you have to draw these electron clouds. Now taking into account few more examples between dissimilar atoms so that you should know because these were the simple ones comprising of only two atoms. I want you to know that how for many atoms you can make it. Like if I am telling you to make it for CH4, just first write C and H, again the same steps I have told you, atomic number 6, 1, configuration 2, 4, 1, non-metal, non-metal, covalent bond. Now how you will arrange them? CH4 means 1 C, so right in middle, surrounded by 4 hydrogen. So surrounded surround it with four hydrogens. Each hydrogen has one electron and carbon has four. But it cannot, carbon cannot be partial. It has to equally contribute electron towards all the atoms. So 
it distribute all electrons like this in the same manner equal number of electrons towards um, all hydrogens. Now this hydrogen will share this electron and get stable it completes its duplet similarly this similarly this and similarly this now all hydrogens are stable now how carbon will become stable it already has its own four and it will all and it will accept those four ones of hydrogen as well. So this is the bond formation see single bond single bond single bond single bond so this is the geometry of CH in later classes higher classes you will be knowing that instead of drawing hydrogens like this we draw hydrogen like this the reason being because there are so many electrons which are surrounding the central atom there are certain kind of repulsions also those repulsions just distort the geometry it no longer remain as such it get distorted due to repulsions this will be taking up in the 11th standard or in higher class you will be knowing that but for this movement you should know draw the bond like this but try to remember the geometry like this and the name for the geometry is tetrahedral right similarly we can do it for CCL4 the same way C and surrounded by 4CL and if you wish to do for water how you will do for water so oxygen in center surrounded by two hydrogen atom again it also has repulsion so therefore the geometry is distorted you can't make it this way because it has certain kind of repulsion this so which distort the geometry so just try to remember that put oxygen here and hydrogen on this side and this side again we know oxygen 8 hydrogen 1 2 6 and 1 so 6 means each hydrogen needs one each hydrogen has its own one electron and needs one so oxygen has to put one one electron towards these hydrogen and the leftover is just dotted around so that means 6 minus 2 it is left with 4 I am putting one pair here here and one pair here this hydrogen is getting stable by sharing the oxygen electron and even this and so that means and this oxygen 4 5 6 and 2 of these hydrogen so this is the bond so see the single bond single bond so there is the not always compulsory that all the electrons which are surrounding the central atom will participate in bond formation. The electrons which participate in bond formation are called as bond pairs and the electrons which do not participate in bond formation as I have shown this they are called as lone pairs. So there are actually the repulsions between the bond pair bond pair or bond pair lone pair or lone pair lone pair because you can say there are bond pairs also there are lone pairs also and there are lone pair and bond pair also. So due to presence of different types of electrons, different types of electron pairs, there are repulsion that is why the geometry get distorted and it comes out to be and the name given to the special geometry is bent geometry. This you will be doing in plus one but for the sake of conveyance as we are covering this topic so I want you to know the name of the geometry because it will hardly take a minute to remember the name and when you will go in higher class it will be sim easy for you because you will be already familiar with the name what is this bent. So this is just due to the repulsions between the electron pair that the geometry is getting distorted.